Hello, today we're going to go over the latest method to get all this to work because it's becoming more and more troublesome. So first off, let's just go and download things that we need to do. So let's go to modding resources. All right, and let's do this right. So we need, let's hold down on here, activity launcher, open a new tab. Suzuki, open a new tab. Let's go Z archive or open a new tab. All right, so verify. Mm -hmm. I am a human. All right, so I want to download the APK. This is an ad. I'm going to close it. No, that's not it. I want to download the APK. This is an ad, and there it goes, downloading ZArchiver 1.0.10. All right. That's good. Let's go to Shizuki. Let's go download. Let's go to GitHub. Now this is where it's going to need to be a little special. First off we need to do is we need to download the latest version. So 13.5.4. Let's go ahead and get that. Click here. Download that. Done. All right. Now we need to start going back in time. Let's go to page three for now. I'm looking for the latest version 11. Here it is, 11.7.0. Click on Assets, and I want to download it. And there, it's downloaded. And then let's go to the last page. I am so human. Activity Launcher. All right. Let's see if we can find it. I want to download the APK. This is an ad. Close. All right, I got everything I need. Now I need to go and start installing stuff. All right, so what I need to do is I need to go to Configuration Wizard. I'm here to mod, configure scope storage, go down to the bottom, configure scope storage, request access. All right, what I need to do now is I need to install, um, first off, the Z Archiver latest version of it. So let me go down here. I have a lot of versions hanging around. So Z Archiver. 1.0.10. Hit the little button. Do I want to install this app? Yes, I want to install this app. Now it may ask you another question about allowing it to install apps and you want to say yes and turn that on. Let's open up Z, Z Archiver. It needs permission. So let's give it permission. Done. All right. So now I'm inside Z, Z Archiver. I don't need mobile VR station anymore. Let's go to download. If you click the text, it usually does what I want to do. Let's install the latest version of Activity Launcher. So 2.06. So I want to install. And then your security, your phone settings, you want to install settings. Allow from source. Yes, install. And now let's open that one up. So now... Close that. Disclaimer. Okay, Activity Launcher is here. So now what I want to do is I want to go through here, scroll it down. I want to open up settings. Settings, settings, launch activity. All right, and let's make sure this is over here on the left side. Then let's open up Z Archiver again and put it over here on the left side. All right. Or the good there right now. So what I want to do is I need to go down here to system. And I already have developer options, but if you don't have that, you need to go to about headset. And then down here is build number. Click it seven times. But then it mine says no need, you're already a developer. All right, then go to system. All right, and let's go to developer options and let's just leave this as it is right now. All right, we got Z Archive over here. Now we need to install the old version of Sh Shizuku first. So I want to install 11.7.0. I want to install. Yes, I really want to install this app. 
Let's open the app. All right, so here's the old version of Shizuku. And then, so what I want to do now is inside settings over here, I want to scroll down and I'm going to turn on wireless debugging. It's going to give me a little pop-up. I'm going to say allow. All right. Now in wireless debugging, well, let me firstly remove this because I need to forget it. If this is your first time, you don't, have to, you don't have to worry about that. So let's go into here and let's say pairing. All right. And blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about that. I want to pair with a pairing code. All right. So it gave me a code. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type it in. Enter. Okay. All right. Now this app is paired with this app. That's good. But then if I try to run the start, it says right here, Shizuku starter exited with zero. So this is never going to finish. This is just going to go on forever. This is bad. So now what I do is I'll go over here in the left side and I want to in Z archiver, install the latest version of Shizuku. So I'm going to update this to the latest version. So I'm going to click here. Now, you know, a second. I think I got a uncheck that one first then click here. I want to say install. And then it says, yes, do you want to update this app? Yes, update it, please. And then it says, okay, so let's open it. So now this is the new version of it, which we already paired it before. So now let's hit start. And then when your service startup window automatically, okay, so now Shizuku, whatever you call it, is now running. ADB is up. That's good. So now the next thing you do is you need to go into Z Archiver over here. Click little dot dot dot. Go to settings. Go to root. Type of root access. Click that. Shizuki Sashiri. All right. So we've done that. And now in application management, Z Archiver is in there. So let's turn it on. All right. Z Archiver is now a authorized app. Okay. So now let's try to install a mods inside Ragnarok. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click the icon, select these two zip files, hold down, copy. All right. Now this is a paste icon up here. Okay, good. I'm going to hit this little up arrow. I'm going to go to Android and click the text. I'm going to go to data. Then I'm going to go to com wanda dev Ragnarok quest. You know, sometimes if both if both hands aren't inside of the app, it just doesn't want to work right. Custom songs. Okay. And now I already had these two songs in here, the uh, Monaco and Let There Be Nights. So I'm going to hit this little paste icon and I want to say replace, but for you, you probably wouldn't do that. You know, so now what I need to do is I need to extract these things. So I'm going to click on a zip file and I want to say extract here. And I'm going to just say replace. And the same thing for Let There Be Night, extract here replace. All right. So now I have technically installed songs into my Ragnarok. So let's check it out. Go into here, Ragnarok. Solo, custom songs. And let me see, there's the first song, and there's the second song. So everything seems to be working at the moment. Um, the trick to getting um, Shizuku to work is you got to install the old version, then install the new version, and then everything should be working. But then if for some reason then this unpairs itself, then you're going to need to then, you know, 
go and install the old version again, then you know, get it paired and then install the new version on top. So then it can actually connect. And then remember, you know, every time you restart your headset, this wireless debugging setting is going to disappear. So you want to go and turn that back on again. <sighs> All right. Thank you. Thank you.